So this video is based on complementary and supplementary angles. Let's understand complementary angles first. Now, if you look at this diagram, you can see that these two angles here are adjacent angles with this line as the common arm. However, if you look at it carefully, we've got this as 90 degrees. That means this angle here is 90 degrees. This 90 degree angle is further divided into two angles here. And I can say that when I add this angle here along with this angle here, it will give me 90 degrees. So I don't know what are the values of these two angles. But suppose now, we say that this angle here is 20 degrees. So what will be the complement of 20 degrees? The complement of 20 degrees, since the total is supposed to be 90 degrees, the total is supposed to be 90. So 90 minus 20 will give us this angle. So complement of 20 degrees will be 90 degrees minus 20 degrees, which will give me 70 degrees. Now looking at this, complement of x minus 5. Now, the moment complement comes, we know that it is, the total is supposed to be 90. So from 90 degrees, I need to subtract x plus 5 degree. So, which will give me 90 degrees minus Minus sign outside the bracket, signs will change. So this becomes minus x minus 5. So I can say my final answer will be equal to 90 minus 5, that is 85 degrees minus x. These are unlike terms, so I cannot do anything about it. Similarly, moving on to the next one. Supplementary angles. Now, you can see that this is a straight line, which means the angle formed here total should be 180 degrees. But that has been divided into one angle here, which is an obtuse angle, and here there is another one, which here is an acute angle. But what we understand is, when I add this angle here along with this angle here, it is giving me 180. 80 degrees. So supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. Now supplement of 40 degrees. So 180 degrees minus 40 degrees. So that should give me 140 degrees. Similarly, I've got another question here. Supplement of half of 60 degrees. So that will be 180 degrees minus half of 60 degrees. So that is 180 degrees minus half of 60 is 30 degrees. So 180 minus 30 is 150 degrees. More so based on supplementary angles. And complementary angles. Let's take an example here. Two complementary angles are in the ratio 2 is to 7. Find the angles. Now these type of sums can be done both in arithmetic manner and by using uh, algebraic method also. So the first sum I'm working with arithmetic. So let's take, they're talking in terms of complementary angles. So, complementary angles are supposed to be 90 degrees. So, we've got two angles here, which is in the ratio of 2 is to 7. Let's take this angle to be 2 and this angle to be 7. So, the first angle will be equal to out of now the total here is 9 so 2 out of 9 
multiplied by since we are talking about complementary angles it's 90 degrees so 9 into 10 times 10 to the 20 degrees and the second angle here will be equal to second angle is 7 out of 9 multiplied by 90 degrees so 9 will go 10 times 10 7 is 70 degrees so we can say that one this angle here is 20 degrees and this angle here is 70 degrees when I add the two of them it is giving me a 90 degree angle so a right angle so this method is the arithmetic method now let's move on to a similar sum and use the algebraic method but this time I've got two supplementary angles now supplementary angles we know that supplementary angle means that total will be 180 degrees so one of them is 1 and the other one is 8 sorry and the other one is 8 now in this case let the angles be 1x which is written as x and the other one is 8 so I consider that to be 8x so I can consider this to be 8x and x when I add these two it's supposed to give me 180 degrees so I can find an equation x plus 8x is equal to 180 degrees which implies that 9x will be equal to 180 degrees and x will be equal to 180 divided by 9 so that should give us 20 degrees now keeping this in mind that x is 20 degrees we can say therefore our first angle is x and x we already found out which is 20 degrees so one of the angles is 20 degrees and the other one is 8x and what is 8x? 8 multiplied by x which is 20 degrees so that is giving us 160 degrees now if you look at it carefully you can see that when I add the two angles that is 20 degrees and 160 degrees it's giving me 180 degrees